Today, we're diving into a crucial skill that you'll need for both exams and your nursing career. We're talking about assessing pulse points. By the end of this video, you'll be confident in locating and evaluating the nine key pulse points. So let's get started. Let's define what pulse points are. These are specific areas of the body where blood vessels run close to the skin's surface, allowing you to feel a heartbeat. Assessing pulses gives us vital information about the heart and circulatory system. Now let's explore the nine most commonly assessed pulse points. First is the radial pulse, located at the wrist on the thumb side. It's commonly used for a quick heart rate check. Next is the carotid pulse, found on either side of the neck, just below the jawline. This is crucial for emergency assessments, but remember, never palpate on both sides simultaneously. You're gonna cut blood flow to the brain. Third is the femoral pulse, palpated where the thigh meets the groin important for assessing lower extremity circulation. Next is brachial pulse, right on the bicep, located in the antecubital fossa, or the inner elbow here. It's used when taking a blood pressure. Next is the temporal pulse, found near the temple. It's always crucial to remember that blood flow goes from here all the way around the head. So you can feel a pulse right here, and also near the ear, right here. This is useful for assessing elderly patients. Next is the apical pulse, also known as the point of maximum impulse, located in the fifth intercostal space, left midclavicular. Fancy words for the middle of the collarbone. This one is the most accurate indicator of true cardiac status. Next is the popliteal pulse, located right behind the knee, important for lower leg circulation assessment. And we have posterior tibial pulse, found right behind the medial malleolus or inner ankle bone. And lastly is the dorsalis pedis pulse, found right on the top of the foot. Now this one can be tricky to find, but it's crucial for assessing foot circulation. Now that we've covered the locations, let's talk about how to grade pulses. First, we listen for the sound of blood pumping for that apical pulse. You count the pulse for a full minute to determine the heart rate. Feel if the pulse is regular or irregular. Also, assess the strength of the pulse. Is it strong, weak, or even thready? Remember, several factors can affect pulse rate, including age, biological sex, health status, temperature, and even weight. So here's a quick reference for normal pulse rates by age. Feel free to pause the video and write down these values. Now, before we wrap up, let's do a quick review quiz. Which pulse point should never be palpated on both sides simultaneously? Well, that's right, it's the carotid pulse. Because if we palpate on both sides simultaneously, we're gonna cut blood flow to the brain. Now let's try another. Which pulse point is considered the most accurate indicator of true cardiac status? Well, exactly, it is the apical pulse, the point of maximum impulse. And lastly, where would you find the dorsalis pedis pulse? Well, that's correct. It's on top of the foot. So great job. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try locating these pulse points on yourself or a study partner to build your confidence. So that's it for today's lesson on pulse points. This skill is crucial for the NCLEX and your future nursing career. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to visit our blog that goes over this topic in great detail. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.